Boom! Yeah, I showed that wall. What's up, guys? Mr. DeMeo here again, and today we're going to learn about herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. But before we get started, I think I need a little change. Ah, much better. So, let's get started. Do you guys hear that? It's an elephant, a real life elephant right over there. Now normally, I'd be running for my life if I saw an animal that big. But I don't think he's gonna be eating me. You see, he is a herbivore. But I wonder what a herbivore is. It's my lucky day. You see, I have the Dr. Emmett Brown Animal Communicator. And with this device, I'll be able to ask that big guy some questions. Let's give it a shot. Wow, man, th this is strange. I finally have the ability to talk. There are so many things I want to say. So many questions. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Shoot. Why do people hide eggs on Easter? Uh... Why isn't there any rice in Rice Krispies? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. What happened at the end of Rocky Three? Elephant! Oh, no, nah, man. Don't call me Elephant. Call me Mitch, man. That's my name, Mitch. Do I call you human? Hey, human. What's going on, human? I like the way you smell, human. You see? Sounds weird. Okay, good point. So, Mitch, I heard you're a herbivore, but what exactly does that mean? A herbivore is an animal that only eats plants. Now, is there any way to tell the difference between a herbivore and another animal? Well, there's a couple ways you can tell the difference. You can watch what an animal eats, or you could just look at their teeth. Wow, that doesn't sound hard at all. Hey, Mitch. Do you mind if I bring up a herbivore's teeth and you can explain it to us? Okay, man. I'll give it a shot. Alright, here we go. Just give me a second to find the picture of the herbivore's teeth. Uh, that's definitely not it. But that is when I went to San Francisco with my friend, Bernie. Uh, that is not me. I swear that is not me. Okay, yeah, that is me. But that is not the picture of the herbivore's teeth. Here we go. This is a herbivore's teeth. Now when you look at the teeth, you'll notice that they are flat. And they are flat for a reason. A herbivore has flat teeth so it can grind down plants. Do me a favor. Feel around in your mouth with your tongue and see if you have flat teeth. You have a few, don't you? But guess what? You are not a herbivore. <gasps> because you probably felt some sharp teeth too. Thanks, Mitch. You've been a big help. Big? What do you mean big? You calling me fat? No, I just... Whatever, man. I'm going to get some French toast. <laughs> What? A tiger. What? A tiger! Oh. Have to be quiet. That guy over there is pretty dangerous. You see, Mr. Frost and Flex is a carnivore. Now, if a herbivore eats plants, I wonder what a carnivore eats. Let's use my communicator and ask him. I am hungry. I could really go for some nice, uh, juicy meat. If only there was a human around. Me? Well, you're a human, are you not? Me? A human? I'm 2% hedgehog. And I'm 98% turtle. You? A turtle? I don't believe it. Why aren't you green? I'm a mutant. You? A mutant? And a ninja. <laughs> Let me guess, you are a teenager too, huh? Yeah, and I've got three brothers, and my name's Donatello. Well, it just so happens that I 
I eat turtles too. You see, I'm a carnivore. A what? A carnivore. A what? A carnivore. Oh, I knew it. But before you eat me, can you tell my class what a carnivore is? Oh, it's simple, Mr. Turtle. A carnivore is an animal that only eats meat. Like you. Did I say I was meat? No, no, no. I'm actually a v Venus fly trap. Very funny. But now, without further ado, I must eat your face. Wait! Don't I get any last requests? Ugh, oh, fine. Go ahead. Tiger, we learned earlier that a herbivore has flat teeth. These teeth help it grind down and chew plants. But it doesn't look like you have flat teeth. They look pretty sharp. Do you mind telling my class what you use those sharp teeth for? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> alright, alright, here we are. Just give me one moment to find the picture. What? I don't remember taking this. Who is that? This is weird. Huh? Hold on. Ah, here we are. This is a carnivore skull. And if you look closely, in the front you can see some very sharp teeth. And on the side, some smaller sharp teeth. Go ahead and feel around in your mouth to see if you have any sharp teeth like a carnivore. You have a few, don't you? But they are not all sharp, because you are not a carnivore. <gasps> a carnivore is an animal that only eats meat. And I bet some of you eat fruits and vegetables. Carnivores use these sharp teeth to bite into an animal's flesh and chew it. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, dinner time. Um, and now for my next impression, Jesse Owens. Oh. And now for our last surprise. Now when I researched omnivores, a bunch of animals came up. Bears, raccoons, and then I thought about it. Humans are omnivores too. So I went all out on this one, guys. Without further ado, one of the biggest 80s karate stars, one of my favorite action movie stars, Mr. John claude Van Damme. How you doing, Mr. Van Damme? No. That doesn't even make sense, but anyway, John claude you, being a human being, are an omnivore. But do you mind explaining to my class what that is? No! Come on, John claude Van Damme, it's for the kids, you just... <laughs> Teeth. Speaking of teeth, we say we look at the diagram of an omnivore's skull and see if we notice any similarities between its teeth and herbivores and carnivores. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so here we go. Let's get a look at an omnivore's skull. Wait a second. That's not what I was looking for. Hold on. There we go. This is the skull of a chimpanzee. Whoa! Now take a look at the teeth on the chimpanzee. Some are sharp, and some are flat. Now we learned earlier that herbivores have these flat teeth over here to help it chew and grind down plants, and that carnivores have sharp teeth like these right here to help it dig into meat. But this omnivore has both. Wow! Hmm. Interesting. So, if a herbivore has flat teeth to help it chew plants, and a carnivore has sharp teeth to help it bite into meat, and we have both flat teeth and sharp teeth, that proves it. We are omnivores. Yeah. And an omnivore is any animal that eats both meat and plants. Isn't that right, Mr. Van Dam? No. You know what? I'm sick of this, John Claude. I'm getting the animal communicator, and we'll see if you'll talk then.
Great job.